So uh, today I'll be demonstrating how to use a POL SY instruction. It's like a pulse instruction for uh, we use it when you're driving servos and staple motors. So the PLC that I'm using is a, um, a DVP 20 SX2. So this is the overview of the DV SX2. Um, let me check what I want to show you here. Okay. So this is the layout of the digital outputs. And when you are running stepper motors and servo, like on pulse, when you are running a pulse output, we use a, a digital output. So we use a Y0, Y1 or any, any, any digital output. But it depends with the nature of your PLC. As you can see here, it's actually telling you that um, when you are using a relay, when you are using a relay, so this information is very important when you are ordering your PLC. When you are using your relay, um, you only run at one hertz, which means a relay that is on off on off on off the way a relay clicks on it can only operate at a frequency of uh, one hertz so one hertz i think uh frequency is uh one over time so if you want to check the the clocking frequency just time time is close to uh one over one over frequency so it's like uh, this relay goes one second on, one second off. Well, that is the safest, safest operating speed of a clocking relay. You can't go if you go uh, above one years or if you go above one, which means it's on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Um, you damage your relay very fast. Uh, and usually this relay got a time span like it, it can click on and off for like a. 1 million or 2 million times that will be also in the in the data sheet if you check so uh, what we are dealing today with uh, is um, a transistor output so I have got a transistor PLC type which is an NPN type the one that I have on the table right now um, and as you can see I'm using I'm using you've got uh, these are what they call axis axis so you've got Y0 uh, uh, Y2 these are the signal that drives the output pulse output so Y0 and Y2 the clocking frequency is 100 kilohertz so it means you can run your pulses at 100 kilohertz because this is a transistor output it's not a relay output and then uh, you've got Y1 and Y3 you can run these pulses at a clocking frequency of, uh, of uh, 10 kilohertz and then y4 and y5 is one kilohertz but they are what they call axis so by axis we are talking about uh being able to control the pulse and being able to control the direction so in this case now y0 is the one which is driving the pulse and y1 is the one which is driving the the direction and then uh, if you check also on the clocking frequency you've got y0 and y2 so Y0 and Y2 are the only digital outputs which can go around 100, 100 kilohertz. So this means that we have got uh, two axes. These two axes are the ones which are capable of going at a very high frequency. So these two pulses, Y0 and Y2, are the ones that we are going to use for driving pulses. And then Y1 and Y2 are the ones that we are going to use for direction. You see? For direction so we have two axes so you can do like your interpolation with two axes your x-axis and your y-axis so your x-axis is y0 and y1 your y-axis is a uh, y2 and y3 because you, you maybe you want to go at a very high frequency so you don't want this 10 kilohertz so you rather use only two that's why they are only saying we have two two axes so this plc dvp 20 sx cp you can control two axes only Right, uh, now I'm back to the Delta PLC manual. This is the Delta PLC manual. The one that we were just checking is the data sheet for the CPU. Um, so, what do we have here? Um, what I want to show you is if you take a look at this one here. Right, it's actually telling you M1029 on after Y0 and Y1. Uh, output is completed 
right and then um this one here the 1102 is on after y2 y3 pulse output is completed so i'm going to show you what this really means and then so it means let's say if you're running if you are running at a let's say your stepper motor requires to run 4000 pulses to commit one revolution so it means when your pulses reaches 4000 that flag is on it goes on that's what they mean here so let me check this one uh, f uh, d1336 so it's important to start from to understand the context to understand the context so y1336 present number of uh, y2 pulses so myself my stepper motor that is running just now is running on y2 it's running on y2 that's why i'm going to be dealing with 1336 so uh d d l s y uh -huh. that's our instruction that's our instruction i'm far away below now that's our instruction so this is the instruction uh, as you can see s1 is the pulse output frequency s2 is the number of pulses d pulse output so you'll be writing to your stepper driver and then this is where you set your number of pulses so if this number is reached that flag will go on right so we're gonna go to the program now mm. uh, let me just stop this one which is running a bit deactivate this sensor here. Yeah. That's a sensor. Okay. Right. So this is the DPLSY instruction. And the D, the D represents for a a 32-bit instruction instead of a 16. So which means that the number of pulses that you set here is not limited. It's uh, limited to 32 bit, not 16, not 16. So which means um, you can put a bigger number of pulses because I'm running the 32 bit. I don't want the 16. But if you're just running only a little bit of pulses, let's say 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 is fine. But if you want to go around um, 33,000, then you better need a D, D okay so s1 is pulse output frequency s2 number of pulses right so the stepper driver that i have here it's being said that one revolution is equals to uh 2000 pulses so on on d420 i'll put um since uh, it is my d420 d420 we say um pulse frequency so i'm going to set the frequency here and then on s2 i'm going to set my pulses so s2 is equals to 2000 pulses uh, which is equals to one revolution right and then uh, s1 is my frequency if the speed is the speed definitely right and then i'm using a um, a second axis this is the second axis remember we've got the fixed axis which is y0 slash y1 it's our first axis and then the second axis is y2 slash y3 so i'm using y2 y3 so y2 is my pulses and then y3 is my direction we're going to see the behavior of this step up as we'll be simulating and then um d1336 is the one it's a double is a it's a double instruction it's a double data size so it is occupying d1136 and d1137 that's where we are storing the number of pulses when we are accumulating we have got a register like a totalizer that keep on telling you your pulses are so forth and so forth okay so um what i'm going to do now i'm going to switch on this instruction uh, and you must take note when the instruction is on you cannot change for you to change the values you must switch off 
so i'm gonna just copy the program just copy d p s y and all those kind of things that's copy i assume by now if you are doing stepper motors by now you already know how to write the program so just copy as it is uh, you can use your own registers. I chose 420 and 422 because it's in the retentive memory range. So when I switch on off my PLC, my numbers, they're just going to come back on. So I'm going to lose the values. Right. So it's actually telling me already. This thing was running already. So uh, here I own 658 pulses. So if I switch on now, you're going to see it's going to keep adding on. Right. You see so this is what how it works with um, the d uh one one three six with the d one one three six so i'm gonna clear this one to zero so that we can start explaining from scratch right so my frequency i want it to be a bit low let's say two thousand right. so you can only change these settings when you and then my my house is where i want 2000 was 2000 is supposed to one revolution according to what i said on the stepper driver so uh let me change it so that you can see the difference 1500 is my frequency right. so if i switch on now you can see right i'm gonna switch off switch on again you see it's one revolution switch off switch on All right so you can see now i did this three times so it's 2000 plus 2000 plus 2000 which is close to 6000 so that's how it works my one revolution is 2000 so this instruction it produces the pulses uh, until they reach 2000 and then it stops and then it stops so now we're gonna look at that uh, register now which is um, that register uh, M1129 oh. Is it eleven twenty nine? Oh, let me search for the find D ten thirty. D ten thirty. Um, so that I uh, want to see the the completion flag, the completion flag for. For the second axis, completion flag for the second axis. Okay, it's a uh, M eleven zero two channel one, uh, which is a uh, pulse output execution complete, which is a uh, M eleven zero two. M eleven zero two so I'm doing online edit Lord M eleven zero two just say um out M one hundred okay. so you can see it's on this flag is on because we have reached two thousand when you have not reached our target set pulses it's not gonna switch on so we're gonna switch off now and then we will see how this one behaves set off it switches off when i set on while this is in in transit it doesn't switch on it only switches when we, we complete when you complete our when you reach our target which is 2000 so i'm going to change the policies to 10,000 which is equal to five revolutions. Which is equal to five revolutions. So I'm gonna switch off, and I'm gonna switch on. Right. You can see 
you can even count the revolutions for yourself you can see it's until it reaches five and then it switches so take note this p-o-l-s-y is just keep incrementing it just keep incrementing so that's how it works so what i'm going to do now we're going to do another ten thousand pulses and then i must change the direction while it's, it's in transit okay set off set on see now set off right so this is how you change your direction so y2 and y3 works end in end y0 and y1 works end in end so this is how you deal with the dplsy instruction um take note you you need a d if you want to put a larger number of pulses you see this one can accept a number like um 50,000 pulses but if you are using a POSY, it doesn't accept bigger numbers like this as your target for, for pulses. So that's why I'm using a DPSY. So uh, take note, the one thing that you must take note, guys, don't forget to click on the subscribe button if this is very helpful to you. Just click on that button, keep supporting me so that I keep uploading uh, good content for you. So um, 